update on the commuter crisis. You're not going to like this. The timelines are off the table. No companies submitted bids to build the new Washington Bridge, so Rhode Island leaders are changing tactics. The state served up more than contractors could chew, so no bites. So now what? NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo live at the State House with the immediate plan. Gabrielle? Jean Patrice, it seems increasingly likely that a new Washington bridge will not be built by August of 2026, as the state had originally been aiming for. Today, Governor McKee and Rideout Director Peter Alviti would not commit to a timeline for getting a new bridge built. In this RFP, we push the envelope apparently beyond what the construction industry is willing to bear. When it comes to building a new Washington bridge, the state says they asked for too much too soon. No company has submitted bids. We're doing our very best to address the concerns of the people who want us to move quickly on this and to hold our contractors at very high level of standards and to set a high bar for these contractors and meeting their responsibilities. Right out director Peter Alviti says they believe several factors played into the lack of interest. That includes the aggressive response schedule for submitting a bid, the quick timeline for rebuilding the bridge, and the high level of scrutiny this project is under. Seventh months in, and it's unclear exactly what went wrong. Do you think that's deterring companies from wanting to work with the state? I, I think you have to companies for that, but I don't. I, I don't see it as a reason why we, we we're, this is a normal process in, in in construction, whether it has to do with state contracts or. Or, or, you know, a private contracts. There's always an exchange between contractors, plus and minus. Sometimes they push for, you know, for, uh, you know, judgment. Sometimes the, it's the reverse. So uh, this is a normal practice. Now the state will put out a request for information, asking construction companies for feedback on what needs to change. A new request for proposals will go out sometime after that, but no state leaders would say exactly when. There's certain timelines that you're just not going to know what they are until you know what they are. State leaders today are also no longer committing to that estimated $300 million price tag for building a new bridge. They say a lot of that is going to depend on the new request for proposals and what companies say is possible. So seven months after the Washington Bridge had to abruptly shut down, there is still a lot up in the air. Live in Providence, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.